Oh man, I'm excited. Woo, yesterday I just got back from my European vacation last night and already this morning it continues because we got a new machine from DN Solutions just arrived taking productivity to the highest level. We are bringing in a lathe. This bad boy is a TT2100SYYB. It's gonna be an exciting day. Oh, it's like Christmas. Look at that. Oh man, Tyson, new machine day. That's exciting. Woohoo! It's Christmas and summertime, baby. Oh man. <laughs> new machine day, Charlie. What's up, Titan? Oh. Me and Travis are going rock, paper, scissors for who gets to run it. And then it'll end up being me. We don't want to crash it. <laughs> <laughs> I love this part. So good. Now we get to cut into the plastic, take it all off, get it up on a forklift, get it into the shop. Woo, Texas, baby. See, they brought Sam out to make me look good. So like, it's like, oh, Titan filmed this, but look, there's no shakiness on that camera. Like, look at that, you know what I mean? Brought in the big guns over here. <laughs> All right, so I just said on camera, it's a TT2100S YYB. It basically, it's like your mill turn, but it's like super speed. You can do a lot that my machine can do. It actually has a little bit of an advantage because both the upper and the bottom turret both have a Y axis. So milling and drilling on mm -hmm. the Y axis. Yeah, the 3100 still, you know, I've got the rotating head at the top, so I've got a lot that I can do on that one, but this is definitely one of the coolest double turret machines that I've seen. I'm excited too, because we're bringing in Swiss machining. It just takes that whole idea of automation and coming in with a million tools at the same time to get parts done crazy efficient. It just takes it all to another level, right? This machine, dual turrets, milling and drilling on both and it just allows you to make complex bigger parts super fast and they just come off complete boom non-stop automation just truly educating the world on the technology on everything so you can actually learn how to compete in your own countries just make incredible parts efficiently so you make money in this trade Oh man, Travis. Hey, how's it going, man? Ah, uh, so Travis, not only is he in inspection and running lays, but he also does operations. So he's been uh, getting ready for the electrical hookup, yep. mm -hmm. preparing the floor, yes, sir. and doing all of that. What's the best part about New Machine Day? The machine is the best part about New Machine Day, but I mean, watching us grow and expand our capabilities so we can bring you guys best educational content around, that I think is the best part. We show mill turns and we show these monster crazy big machines but this machine it's a compact size where you're actually making legitimate size parts yeah. but the efficiency is on another level because you have dual turrets yeah. you dual y-axis you got milling and drilling on both which allows you to basically attack the part from different angles all at the same time completing complex parts non-stop complete automated boom. I mean the versatility of this machine is is, is unparalleled. I mean, you got, like you said, two turrets, two spindles, two Y axes, uh, turning, milling, drilling, tapping on both sides. It's, a, it's an awesome machine. Yeah. And one of the other things that I like is that both motors, both spindles on each side, they have the same horsepower, mm -hmm. so it's efficient through the whole thing, same power, boom. Murdered on one side, murdered on the other. Oh man! So Jesse, a lot of guys know you for the five axis, right? And the grinding. But you got some crazy mill turn experience. Yeah. You've done some monster parts and stuff. What do you think about the new machine? Never run a, a lathe that had the dual turrets before. You know, we said mill turns, upper, lower spindle. I can't wait. And I think in manufacturing, that's how you compete. You take a part, you come out, you bring the material out, and you attack it from all angles, getting everything done at one time. 
parting it off, getting the next one nonstop, running lights out. And this allows you to do it. It does. We had a machine that was the same way. We had a single turret lay, twin spindle, part ran for 18 minutes. We had got our integrex in and had an upper mill spindle on the lower turret. And just that lower turret being able to come over here and do things while the mill spindle was running on the sub spindle side took that cycle time down to nine minutes. Nine minutes. Time is money. Yeah, that's it. We doubled our production. At the end of the day, you're bidding on jobs and you need to run these parts as fast as efficient, keeping everything to spec. And the quicker you can get Get it done in as few operations as possible that allows you to truly make money That's it. and if you want to run lights out you need to figure out how to run the part complete non-stop so it just runs brings more material in runs brings more material in runs it's just non-stop first look as you guys know Doosan is now dn solutions and uh so this this machine was probably manufactured right before the name change because it still says Doosan, but everybody knows Doosan DN Solutions, amazing machine tools. I love that uh getting a first look at the machine right now. Woo. Let's actually take a look inside real quick. Oh, check that out. I'm gonna actually flip the camera around so you guys can see. But yeah, that's what I was talking about. You got the, the turret over here, and then you got the turret up there. You got the spindle over here. You got the spindle over here. Boom, part catcher right here. Now I like the tool probe. It's got two tool probes, one for the top, one for the bottom. See, we got one parts catcher there, and we also have a conveyor for parts coming off the sub, sub side over there. Awesome. Older. I actually love the way they do the conveyors, drop the parts there. It gives you such versatility. All right, I'm getting ready to pop this bad boy on the forklift and get it into the shop. You know, it's funny to see how far Mastercam's come along being able to program machines like this because when we were in Houston, I used to program all the milling and then the wave guys would program all the wave stuff and then they'd have to chop the program into pieces, put their own wave codes in manually. And now watching Tyson doing stuff on the SMX, you know, he just puts all that in the same Mastercam file, posts it out and everything is perfect. Wave codes and everything already in it. So it looks like we're going to be having a good time with this machine. Mastercam's going to make it easy for us. So Trevor, remember when you used to be a machine Genius, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. It wasn't too long ago. But we got I respect for you, so we let you come out of the additive side to see like a machine coming out. So, so, so this is a lathe, right? So this makes round yeah. parts, right? Right. You're like, okay. you're like confused okay. by that. Yeah. No. I mean, ah, you know, I gotta mess with the brother. <laughs> it's so good. It's awesome. He can turn around and say, actually, Titan, I'm probably the only guy here that can actually machine, build molds, do additive, and do all of it. Yeah. I mean, I got a machine running right now you know i'm out here enjoying the, the new machine and I'm, I'm being productive at the same time you know automation baby right here at titans <laughs> of zanz and then here comes barry barry wants to jump in yeah, i just wanted to call out the fact that i can do machining and additive as well so he's not special well, i've never seen that before so <laughs> you know but technically while your mouth's going he's making a part right now are you making a part right I'm now making multiple parts <laughs> See, we, we all mess around. We all mess around. So good. Well, I just want to say, too, that I can't do additive, but after seeing Trevor do it, who can't? Oh! <laughs> Somebody cut his mic off. <laughs> oh, man. no oh, man. Only thing I know is that Europe was amazing, but it's nothing compared to being here at home with my guys. Oh, yeah. oh. okay, okay, okay. Um, we're going to go back to machining right now. It's hot in Texas. I think it's gonna be like 105 today. You can already feel it. Oh, air conditioning. Yes. It's hot out there, man. It's crazy. Got the new decals for the DN Solutions. Boom. So we got the DM 4000 over here. We got our new style mill, the BBM 5700 right here. And then we set the 2600, but now it's gone and we're replacing it with this new machine right here. So kind of cool. You see the grinding over there? Yeah, Chris. Boom. Stop, Chris over there. Grindy, baby. Oh, the machine's gonna actually go right here. Boom. And then we got the, the bar feeder's gonna go over here. Get it all hooked up. Machine's actually coming through the door right now. Boom. One, one cool thing is when the building was actually built, the lines actually are perfect to the wall. So the, the place is perfect. We actually have all the machines right here on this line. So we're taking the front of the machines and we're making them perfectly in alignment. Yeah, let's put it down and check it out. Check it out, I love that you can actually see right through the grates right here. I mean, you get closer. Super, super clean, awesome. 
All right, we got power still working in the back. We got the mist collector. We got a two bit right there. And uh, we got lights. Ooh, it's coming together. So we have the coolant, we have the lube. We're gonna put on the shunk shucks. We got the control. The control's different. It is, it's yeah. It's nice, man. Yeah, no, it is. It looks really clean. It's a modern display, right? We have touch screen. So we're just kind of going through. I'm getting familiar with this. It's a new control panel to me. So we have all these different, you know, different controls and whatnot. If you are kind of of that old school, you can always go back to the classic control right there. All right, nice, nice. So we have uh, shucks going in. We got all the kind of metal tooling. We got to like start installing and then we're ready to make some parts. Yeah, for sure. I mean, there, there's a lot going on with this machine, right? But we're gonna make her sing. Super good. <clears throat> Boom. So you got parts catcher here. You got this robot arm that will grab parts from op two, right? And send it to a conveyor on the back side of the machine. Just fits them out on the end of the machine right there. Like right over yeah, here? Right here. Oh, you see our little conveyor, comes right out here, drops them in. Got a nice little cushy foam landing. Nice. Love that. Uh -huh. We have air blast here, and we have an air and a coolant blast over here. So, fully flush the chips off the jaws so you don't, you know, mar the parts. The TT2100SYYB, it's on the floor. Nice. Woo. In the next video, we're gonna set it up. We're gonna show you how to work the controls and actually make some parts. Cut some chips. Do it. All that. Yeah. Boom.